Yo, what's up, YouTube? Just want to give you guys an update what's been going on with the new build. Get, let you know what stand I selected and also what sump I selected. Um, as you can see, the stand has arrived. I went with Framing Tech. And I chose Framing Tech because I wanted a, a custom setup with uh, the stand and canopy. Also, due to the height of my stand, um, I wanted something I can build inside the house and not have to bring through a window. Now, one of the things I like about Framing Tech is that once you give them your specs and how you want your stand to do, how high you want it as far as the size of the tank you have, um, they do a weight analysis on your system. So they'll let you know if the stand that you're trying to build is going to be able to withstand the weight um, that is required in order for it to function properly. Um, as you can see, I went with wheels. Um, these are some high-end wheels, uh, caster wheels. Um, these wheels are able to withstand at least uh, 6,600 pounds. So, Framing Tech will let you know exactly what is required in order to get your stand built for you the way you want it. Now, when it comes to putting the stand together, it's a little different. Um, they give you a diagram, so you kind of got to go by a diagram in order to figure things out. Um, uh, they send me a part that was too big, but they was able to resolve that issue and, and send me a replacement part. So my stand took a little longer to put together than normal. Um, but here's the stand, you guys. Here's what it looks like. Now this stand is 72 by 36 by 42 inches high. I said again, 42 inches high. Um, I built my stand 42 inches high because I want to be able to look right into my tank. Um, I know I'm gonna need a step ladder, but you can see the difference in size between this stand and my old, my current system right now. Now, when it comes to the canopy, the canopy was pretty easy to put together. Um, basically, I needed a couple people to help me out, but. Um, there it is, you guys. And here are the boards, then the snap-in connectors to get the panels on. Now, this, this panel was made out of some kind of plastic. It's a real thick plastic, um, but it's pretty durable. It's pretty well made. Um, putting these things on, putting these connectors on, pretty easy. They already had some pre uh, holes there that were kind of notched out, so you know exactly where to put them and you see the connectors on the inside, you just snap it in. Um, like I said, it was pretty easy to go. And here's the stand, you guys. Here's everything with the panels on, the cover, um, the canopy. I had to change out my ceiling fan, so I had a different ceiling fan, otherwise it would have been hitting my canopy. Things you don't really think about when you're uh, building a system, but um, I, overall, I like it. I like the quality, I like the way it's made. Um, I like the way it looks. And also with framing tech or any kind of um, aluminum setting like this, you can always adjust it. And if I want to go bigger, I can always add to it or change it up a little bit. So that's the cool thing about going this way. Now, when it comes to sumps, I went with the Vans Acrylics. Um, they were able to help me out tremendously. Uh, John over there took care of me, told him exactly what I wanted. He sketched it out and kind of sent me some update photos of what it's gonna look like. And basically, man, uh, once you see this thing, it's crazy. Um, I went all out, you guys. For me, I built the system as if it was my last system. I built the system because it's sitting in my living room and I wanted it to look good. And I also built the system because if I ever wanted to upgrade, I can, won't have to change equipment. Um, so went over to Vance Acrylics. Um, he showed me around the shop. I say he took care of me. Uh, this is what the shop looks like. Um, this guy's a busy guy, but you know, he'll help you out. If you go over there and tell him exactly what you want, what you need, um, he'll make sure it gets done. And here's kind of what it looks like, you guys. Uh, they're cleaning it up for me right now, getting all ready for me to take home. And um, it's a big boy. Um, this is a back, basically a 125 gallon sump. So I believe the measurements are 56, 31, 16. 
56, 31, 16. I think that's roughly about 125. Um, as you see, this thing is uh, welded. Um, it's a hybrid PVC gray. Um, and this is something that's not like new. This uh, John's been doing this for a while now. Um, I've seen a couple of these out there and then uh, when I saw the color scheme, I thought this is a color scheme that I have to go with. And as you see, here's my whole lineup here. Calcium reactor, auto top off, uh, skimmer choice, which is Regal 3, 300. Um, I went through with the Regal because I'm using that on my current system. This is just a bigger version and they work great. Um, this is a dosing container. Now this wasn't something that I was gonna get in the beginning, but uh, I saw it, he said he can do it, so I went ahead and did it. Now, instead of filter socks, I'm going to filter cups. Um, I can put media in here, my, you know, any kind of um, anything pretty much. But also these can be changed out for filter socks if I want to change them out. So it's just another option there. Um, this thing has also heater holders inside, adjustable baffles. And as you can see, I'm going with the frag tank on the inside. The frag tank can hold up to about 150 frags. So um, something I, I like, I wanted to do, I wanted to try out and uh, just the just return section. So everything's adjustable baffles, probe holders, dosing, dosing um, notches in there, um, pretty much everything, the whole spill. And this is everything, you guys. So let me know what you guys think about this, you know. Is this something that you would do if you were building, you know, your system? Um, is this something that, you know, you think is a cool idea? Um, but this is the whole setup for me, you know. Like I said, this thing is sitting in my living room. I want it to look good. Um, it's going to be the center of attraction. And, um, you know, I would, for me, it's like I used to do motorcycles. So by me doing a motorcycle, I used to just customize everything. And this is kind of the same thing. Um, one thing I learned about building motorcycles and customizing is that you, you want to spend once instead of buying twice. Um, you want to get what you want the first time. And if you can't get it and can't afford it the first time, you know, just wait. Wait a while until you're able to do so. Um, this is not, this is a project for me that's been planning for a whole year. Um, this is not something I just jumped right into, um, something I planned. And actually, you know, when you plan things out, you think things through. And not only that, it gives you time to save money and to get things the way you want it. Um, let me know what you guys think of the build, you know. Also, you know, you can follow me on Instagram. That's where I post most of my videos and pictures and stuff like that. Um, you guys have been getting on me to do videos, and here's a video for you guys. So I'll try to make it more often, but I can't promise you that. But I'll try to keep them coming. Thanks for watching.